Hey guys, Swapnil here, and today I'm gonna kick my channel back into high gear with the Q&A. I had you guys ask me questions over on Instagram and Twitter a few weeks ago, so I have handpicked a couple of those to answer and kind of cover a variety of topics. So go ahead, sit back, get some popcorn, and find your comfiest chair, because the video starts now. Alright guys, the first question is from Amanda Lang. She asks, what camera should I buy for the most bang for my buck? Okay, so this is a great question. I'll start off by saying that I'm going to address this question kind of assuming that this is going more towards beginners. Um, I feel like if you're a professional in the industry, you kind of know what you want and you know how to spend money on that. So for beginners looking to get started, I recommend three cameras. The first is the Nikon D3500. Now this camera is super, super awesome. Um, it costs around $400 and has a 24 megapixel camera. It has a guide mode and a great battery life that makes it a solid package for all beginners. Now, I will say that I personally started off with a Nikon camera, and even though I don't use one anymore, um, it kind of helped me get started and learn the industry and get my feet wet to begin with. Uh, the second camera that I would recommend is the Canon EOS SL2. This is a super cool camera with specs that are pretty similar to the D3500. Um, there is one difference though, and that is the swivel monitor. Having the ability to turn the display around and see yourself can make things like vlogging so, so much easier. The prices for the SL2 does vary throughout the year, so I'll be sure to have the links and most accurate prices as of now in the description down below. While you're down there, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, the third camera that I would recommend for any beginner is the Sony a6000. Now this is a bit of an old camera but I would say that it packs a lot of solid features that make it an awesome package for a beginner. Sony cameras are awesome for video production. I would say that if you want to be an amateur videographer, this is a good way to get started. I will say that Sony cameras do have a bit of a learning curve, so make sure to take that into consideration as well, especially comparing to the Nikon and Canon counterparts. Honestly, overall, all three of these cameras are stellar options and you can't go wrong with any of them. All right guys, question number two is from Nikhil Milani. He asks, how is Georgia Tech? So yeah, a lot of you may know that I'm currently a second year student at Georgia Tech studying industrial engineering. Um, it's been an amazing experience so far. I love the school, um, but I will say the classes are a bit tough. It's kind of what I've been busy with for the last couple weeks. So yeah, I'm looking forward to you know future semesters and learning more about industrial engineering. Another question comes from Joshua Gundagolu asking, who is your favorite comic book character? Okay, so I will just say that I am a total, total DC fan. Um, I love all the DC superheroes, but my favorite would have to be Batman. I've always found his abilities to be super cool, and I really love how even though he doesn't have any specific superpowers, he's heavily involved in a lot of the main storyline. He works with amazing heroes like Superman and Wonder Woman, yet he manages to hold his own, which is super, super cool. Alright guys, we have another question about cameras coming from Trevor Terry. He asks, what are your thoughts on the EOS R from Canon? Alright guys, I will start out by saying that I am a huge, huge Canon fanboy. I love all their cameras, but this one, the EOS R, is super, super cool. Um, I love the way it looks, I love the way it's designed. Um, it's actually a full frame mirrorless sensor. Um, it's very similar in terms of sensor to the 5D Mark IV, which is a stellar camera as well. It does feature the RF lens mount, which is super, super cool, because it allows Canon to develop better and more compact lenses for their devices. I feel like this camera is pretty much the 5D series in a mirrorless form factor. That kind of summarizes my thoughts about it. Now, that does mean it's an amazing camera. I love it a lot, but I wouldn't say I recommend it for video over its competitors. But if you're someone who loves Canon and wants to go mirrorless, this is definitely a great option to go for. All right, guys, our last question for today comes from Amy Patel. She asks, if you had to downgrade your phone, which one would you switch back to? Okay, so this is a super, super hard question. Um, so if you guys know me personally, you know I use about 11 phones a year. And of those 11 phones, I review almost all of them. Um, a lot of those reviews end up here on this channel. Um, so I go through a lot of phones every single year. Uh, but I think if I had to go back to an old phone, I think I'd pick the original Motorola Droid, the very first one that came out. This phone was super cool, and I feel like it was one of the first phones to really challenge Apple and their iPhone. 
I love the slide out keyboard and they don't really make that feature anymore in phones these days. Uh, so I feel like it'd be super cool to go back and use that again. Now I know that going back to an older phone means that it will be thicker. Um, it'll have a smaller battery life and things like that. But I personally don't mind. I think the Droid is very well designed. It was very durable back in its day. Uh, I feel like even though it's an older version of Android, I wouldn't mind going back and using that phone just for how beautiful and how innovative it was in its time. All right, guys, that is the end of our first Q&A. Thank you guys so much for the amazing questions. I will say that I'm going to be having another Q&A in a couple months. So have your questions ready for that one. Um, I'll be asking them over on Instagram and Twitter. So be sure to follow over there. As always, I would say go ahead down below and subscribe. Quality content will be coming your way through this channel, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll be sure to see you guys next time.